you know, becoming a Christian here uh, when I was 40 years old, I'm 50 now, and um, just what Tom was talking about, that amazing grace when I came to know God, where I just felt his, his calling upon me, and I just felt when I, when I finally surrendered to God, I, every single sin that I did in my past was just raining down on me. And I had to just sit there and, and I had to pray and ask God for forgiveness for each and every one of those things I did. And there's so many things I did that I didn't even think was something that was really that bad. I didn't think I was hurting anybody in my past, but I was. Everything I did, every sin affects somebody else in your life. It's not just me. It affected my family. It affected friends. I didn't even realize, and I didn't think twice about it. So I had, I, 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 I was changed around, like I said, 100% now. I, this is the church I became a Christian in. And I, I do love this church. But I see a thing happening within a church, and I see in other churches as well. How many people in this room here would you say, wish they read the Bible more? Raise your hands if you felt like you wish you read the Bible more. And this is what God has been calling me to do as I'm growing in a, in a Christian life. And, I, and, and this event has really pushed me even more over the edge where I've, I'm just being more and more refined by God. And what he's really shown me is how could we know who Christ is if we're not praying to him? How can we have a relationship with him if we're not even reading his word? How can the spirit within us begin to work within our neighborhoods, within our own churches, if we're closing it in on ourselves and we're trying to do our own things in our own lives? My whole life was just wasted doing everything that I wanted to do. And that can't be as a Christian. We are called to be different. We are called to worship God. And what I really felt something, I was reading something in the Bible, and I just I was just thinking about what, what, what God, what Jesus said to Peter, Peter, do you love me? He said that three times to him, right? I mean, I feel like this is something that he's asking each and every one of us. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And if you do, what are you doing about it? And so what I really felt called to do, I feel God had called me to do this event. We don't have the funds yet, but we're getting there. It's July 20th. God is going to provide. I am not worried one bit. But I really feel that he's called me to step forth, to bring the churches together, to bring us together in prayer, to really ask you to start to pray for one another, to pray for yourselves, that God would refine you, that you would begin to repent more daily. It's not a thing that we did when we first became a Christian. This is something that we do daily, that we would begin to pray for each other, pray for the other churches, pray for our leaders. Do you think there'd be some type of difference if we all started doing that daily, really started getting into his word, really start praying? I think America would come back to God I think the smallest little group in this little area can move about in the rest of the Chicago area, that can move about out of Illinois, can move to the whole United States. I really feel that.